Today I'm going to show you how we do a one day polyurea and polyaspartic garage floor system. Based on my previous videos, that might come as a surprise to you, but there's been one major improvement in our polyurea coatings that has changed my mind, but I'll get to that in a minute. The prep for polyurea is the same as what we do for an epoxy floor. We diamond ground the concrete to create a rough surface on the concrete so that the coating can penetrate and bond to the surface. In this particular case, we're going over professional epoxy coating that we actually did a long time ago. I think it was about 12 years ago. And it's still in good shape, so we're not going to remove all of the coating. We're just going to grind it to make sure that the polyurea primer will stick. And since I know everyone's going to ask me why we're redoing it, this job is actually at my parents' house. And it was one of the first vinyl chip jobs that we had ever done. And, and back then we top coated the chips with epoxy. And over time, the epoxy turned an amber color from UV exposure, and that's always bothered me. This is the main reason we don't use epoxy top coats anymore. So I wanted to redo this one with a polyaspartic top coat that doesn't turn amber. We always measure out what we need for the entire job when we do polyurea coatings. Polyurea sets really fast, so we get everything ready ahead of time so the coating won't get away from us while we're putting it down. This process is going to go the same as an epoxy coating, only we're going to make smaller batches so that we have a little extra time to get the material spread and flakes broadcast into it. Most of this YouTube channel is focused on residential work, but we actually do a lot of commercial coatings too, so we're pretty familiar with a ton of different fast setting products. But I've always stayed away from polyurea on most garages for one reason, and that's that they don't offer any protection against moisture in the concrete. I know a lot of our competitors will carry around moisture meters in and they'll test the concrete and nine times out of 10, they'll say moisture isn't an issue. But that's not entirely true because a moisture reading is just a snapshot of that moment in time. Just because moisture content is low now, doesn't mean it's not gonna be high next month or next year. And this is the main reason we've been using an epoxy vapor barrier on most of our garage floors for the past few years. But that all changed last year. Our manufacturer is always improving and our current manufacturer actually has a polyurea primer that withstands up to eight pounds of hydrostatic pressure. And that's a really good insurance policy against moisture rising in the concrete in the future. So for the past year or so, we've been doing more and more polyurea coatings because our particular brand that we use finally offers that additional protection against moisture issues. Once the flakes are broadcast, we're going to wait a couple of hours and we'll be ready to clean up the excess chips and apply our polyaspartic top coat. I mentioned earlier that the only reason we're redoing this garage floor is because the epoxy top coat had turned yellow. Epoxy will turn an amber color when it's exposed to sunlight, but the polyspartic coating that we're going to use today is UV stable and won't be affected by the sun. And just to be clear, this is the same polyspartic top coat that we use whether we use an epoxy primer or a polyurea primer. So the question is, is polyurea primer better than an epoxy primer? And I don't really think there's an easy way to answer that question. A lot of people say that polyurea is four times stronger than epoxy. And when they say that, I think they're talking about how polyurea has a higher impact resistance rating than epoxy. And from a marketing standpoint, that sounds really impressive. But we've also installed a lot of epoxy floors over the past 20 years, and we just haven't gotten many warranty calls on those types of floors. So from my experience, epoxy as a primer holds up really well over a long period of time, and we're still going to be offering them in the future. But it has been nice using polyurea on some projects. It's undeniable that being able to do a garage floor in one day is great for customers and for us. It makes scheduling a lot easier because our customers don't have to meet us but once. I'll also lean towards using polyurea on projects where there might be a lot of cracks or movement in the floor. But on larger floors that can't be done in one day, I'll probably keep using epoxy primers just because we have slightly better protection against moisture 
and we have plenty of time to get material and flakes on the floor. I have an online course that teaches everything you need to know about doing epoxy and polyaspartic flake floors, and I've added a section that will cover polyurea and one day garage floors. If you want more info about that, it'll be the first link in the description down below. Hopefully this video has helped you learn the difference between polyurea and epoxy. And if you want to take a step further and learn the difference between professional coatings and DIY kits, then you can check this video out right here. Thanks for watching.